Good morning, everybody. Hello. Okay, so today we're going to do a get ready with me, you know, the what I do every day so I don't look like a fucking zombie kind of day. So right now I'm going to head to the beach. I'll show you guys my outfit at the end probably. And I did this really cute hairstyle. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, can I do it? And then I basically did three braids instead of two because I meant to do like three and then one was going to wrap around. And then I don't know how to wrap it around. So I guess I have three braids, but it's cute. I feel like it's so cool. Okay. But back to the makeup part. So I've done like a get ready with me before and you guys seem to like it. And I was like, why not do it again? And obviously I'm not in my normal film location, you know, my small bathroom. Um, I'm in St. Bart's. I know, so cool. I love it here. I don't want to go home ever. I mean, who wants to go home and like, not travel not me so right now i'm gonna be going to the beach and getting some lunch at nikki beach which is super fun i love nikki beach and their sushi is so good um but yeah so let's get on to the makeup sorry if the lighting is not that good but um i feel like it's okay like i think it's good. okay so I'll, sh I'll show you guys all the products i'll also list them all down below in the description for you guys to click the link but yeah i feel that i'm gonna go for like a light makeup but i'm not sure yet so okay i'm gonna be using this nars concealer in shade creme brulee i don't even know why i can't say it so i'll just put that right under my eyelids because you know what i'm saying like I like to do natural, especially if I'm going to the beach, like, you know, but we're going to, like, kind of like a clubby beach, so I feel like I should do a little bit, like, heavier makeup. I don't know. Is there, like, a science to that? I'm not sure. You guys are getting, we're getting real close, up close and personal. I don't know. I've seen people, like, like hit their face with their beauty blender, which I don't understand that, because, like, I don't know how that blends around. I just kind of, like, pat and drag kind of like hitting it but like dragging it as we go um i never really do the eyelids because i feel like i don't put eyeshadow on so like it just makes my eyelids look really light but i also recently found out there's something called like primer for your eyelids which is like world stop like actually i think i'm gonna put them on my forehead so there's not such a color change between my eyes and my forehead uh, i know it looks crazy but it looks good like in person but the, view the viewfinder doesn't make it look super good okay and then next i'm gonna be using my born this way from Too faced in shade vanilla um since i've been here i've obviously got tan so i don't know if this is still my shade because i haven't really been using um foundation since I've been here. I mean, I feel like it's still my shade, but like, I'm not that tan, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, wait, what is it? Um, Joss Sapti's news. No, Joss Sapti's news. Why am I saying it in a British accent? Um, I was not Joss Sapti's news for Akan, Akan Gems. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm like <laughs> freaking out. I was Joss Sapti's, why am I saying it in a British accent? I was Joss, I was Joss Sapti's news for Uncut Gems. Did I do it? Is that it? Did I do it? I think I did it. Am I like a TikToker now? Am I a TikToker because I did that? I wonder. Okay, next I'm gonna be using my Too Faced um, powder. I don't even like, know what you call this, but it's really good. Oh, setting powder? I don't know. <laughs> Brings me back to the good old days. No, I'm kidding. Um, that was a jokester, you guys. Next, I'm going to be using this Chanel blush in the color Rouge at 325. It's a bit used, obviously. Um, especially when you're buying designer makeup, find out what's good before you just go in and, like, buy a bunch. Because, like, I love the blush, I love the lipstick, but I don't love... Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, before you go in there, don't, like, just go in, like, willy-nilly because some of the products aren't even good. They're just expensive. So, when I go in, I know I like the original Rouge lipstick. The 
if you guys don't know, my what I all my red lipsticks, like all red lipsticks I use are from Chanel because I just think they're just like the best. Like, and that's just what I think, but I think they're really good. Okay, next I'm gonna be using this Natasha. Next I'm gonna be using this Natasha Dimana. I don't even know if that's how you call it. Clear shimmer glow stick. This is really good. Um, like it's really, really good. I need to like show you guys what it like looks like without because like this viewfinder is not giving these products justice. Um, does anybody else apply their makeup or like every product with a fucking beauty blender? I do because it's really good. Oh, I also recently found out, like before I started this video, I sprayed my beauty blender with um, setting spray. Oh, this is the one I use. It's from Morphe. It's really good. Um, they say it's really, it helps all the makeup stay on. So, I don't know. Does that work? Like, I wonder. Because I, I, I get like that could work. You know, like the idea, like putting your setting spray on, on your beauty blender. Like, that's pretty smart, if you ask me. And then, if you didn't have enough um, highlighter, you should put more. I put this one on with my finger because I like to know where exactly where it's going. I change my uh, my products that I use frequently because I'm always looking for new things to show you guys. Um, you know, keeping it real, I'm always switching it up. Okay, um, I totally forgot to do this, but I use this sunscreen. I really want good no wrinkles when i'm older so this is my god stuff i'm just gonna try to pat it on maybe like on top of my makeup which is probably not the best idea because i'm gonna get like oily skin but i usually rub it in you know but you gotta do this before you put on your makeup so you don't get any wrinkles when you're older and you have really good skin and you don't get burns and you're just chef's kiss um, next I'm going to be using this like freckle thing. I can, I have freckles, but when I put on makeup, they obviously disappear a little, but they never go away fully. And I just love, love, love adding more freckles. Like I always like just, it makes me feel so much better when I have like darker ones, but I just put them everywhere. And then one there. It's my signature. I fucking love it. <laughs> You put one here and here and here and here and here and maybe here and like i know it does nothing for you guys but it does everything for me it makes the look so much fuller i love it so usually for lashes i use my better than sex by Too faced but um i'm gonna probably go in the water today so i'm gonna use my maybelline waterproof mascara really good the girl at Walgreens said this was really good, and I trusted her with my life, so, yeah. And especially if you don't have your lashes done and you have, like, a full face of makeup, you look crazy. Like, I have to say, you look crazy. Like, you have a full face, everything's done, but your lashes, it's a bit weird, if you ask me personally. Um, I also recently got this. I used this when I was younger, and it was so good. I remember, like, making sure I always bought it, but it's not waterproof, so it's got to go. It needs to go back into that bag. So, I also, another trick I learned is if you use one of these curlers for your makeup, it's, like, heaven. Like, um, my sister's friend was like, girl, you need to try it. And I was like, you're just joking. Like, this can't do anything. No. This, this does wonders. This is God. You know? You see this? This is God. Especially, make sure you don't do it with any mascara on your eyelash, eyelids or the tool because it can rip your eyelashes out after time when it dries. So, make sure you have nothing on. And you can already see that lift. But now for the Curl Bounce Maybelline Waterproof Mascara. Um, I also started using this um, Lash Serum. Um, it's by like Roxy. I'll put it down below. I literally love it. It makes my lashes so, so long. I love, love, love it. She also makes a brow um, thing, but I have pretty thick brows and they do not need to get thicker. Uh, 
I borrowed this one from my sister's friend. She, it's so good. It's called um, 344 Coral Rise by Maybelline. I actually love Maybelline makeup. It's so amazing. I think it's just perfect. I once went on a trip and I forgot all my makeup. So I went to Walgreens or like CVS, I'm not sure which one. And I just bought a bunch of Maybelline makeup because I just believe in them. Like, I keep doing this because it's just like the perfect signal. Like, um, Ratatouille in Ratatouille, you know, when he like ate that meal, he was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel when I'm talking with my hand like this. Yeah. So I'm done with my makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching my get ready with me. I'll show you guys the outfit now. Okay, so I'm wearing this top that is my mom's. And then I'm wearing this skirt from Brandy. Super cute and basic. I'm just going to do like a little chill day today. But I thought, what is the perfect thing to get ready with me? Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see next.